Alright, welcome back everyone. Um, this is another video of the Muto, the male Muto from Godzilla 2014. Um, this is the video, this is what the sculpture I was going to talk about in, in the Venom one. And basically I wanted to do this because the new Godzilla movie is coming out, King of the Monsters in May. And so I wanted to do this to kind of lead up to that. And so with this project, it wasn't... It was actually very easy to do. The sculpting wasn't so bad. I just used kind of simple sculpting tools and whatnot. And uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, and the painting side was also very easy. Although I did a lot of mixtures of colors. For example, as you'll see right here, I used a mixture a of Craftsmart Black and Craftsmart White. Also, just to let you know, I'm doing this video a little differently, recording over the video, the, uh, the audio over the video. But after that, I used... Um, light mocha and khaki from Apple Barrel as this tannish color for like the wings and the legs and all that. And the the black and white I used to make a dark gray for the base coat. Then I used a diva pink, a red for the and let's see what else was there a yellow for the inside of the mouth. I used more pink, a little bit of red, and just a tiny bit of yellow, and it just made this kind of pinkish gummy look for the mouth. And then I used um, red, yellow, and orange. This was for the eyes and the EMP blasting on his on his arms, which if you see in some angles, you'll see in the pictures I did. After that, I used this rubbing alcohol to sort of smoothen down the wings and make it, like I said, just smooth. Then after that, let's see, what else did I do? I used a khaki and a brown and a white to make the teeth and claws, the color for the teeth and claws. And then once all that was done, what I did was I used a matte varnish from Liquitex and I just varnished the entire sculpture. However, for the mouth and the eyes, I used a gloss varnish from Liquitex just to give it that sort of wet look, but also to give the eyes sort of like almost a, a glowing look. And then there you can see, this is actually a sculpture of the Mutos I made like four years, maybe five years ago, probably four years ago. This was much after the Godzilla film came out. I actually made another one, this is the second one, I made another one previous to this, but I could not find it. However, I think I probably have a picture of it that I can show to y'all. Um, but yeah, I was very happy about this. Uh, making this I think this came out pretty well there are some mistakes I noticed that I think I could probably do when I do the female design because I'm going to be doing the male for this one the ma the female and then Godzilla and so yeah I th believe that's basically it so um now it's just the video I hope you all enjoy and see y'all later bye
all right thank you for watching i really appreciate it and uh next is next video is going to be the female muto and then after that's going to be godzilla himself and uh after i post this video you can follow my page uh giovanni arson collectibles that's usually where i post pictures of these guys after i post videos and that's about it so thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see y'all next video bye